All right, in this clip, um, I'm just kind of messing around here in my studio. I wanted to point out the importance of um, constantly drawing and when you're rusty, what do you do? Well, I'm a little rusty right now. It's I didn't uh, draw as much as I uh, normally do in between semesters and this, we're already well into this spring semester and uh, it's already week three in my continuing education classes and week five, I believe, in my undergrad classes. So um, there I am and I'm trying to do these demonstrations in class and I'm rusty and I'm a little bit crashing and burning on some of this and I look back um, on some of my pads that I had in my locker from the previous semester I was like whoa I really got to get back on track here so how do you quickly get back on track and I know for those of you who have purchased my DVDs I say over and over again in the DVDs that um, half of drawing is not what you know it's it's really well most of drawing is your eye hand coordination and um, I'd say that's 50% of it and the other 50% is your knowledge so the way that sometimes I get back right into drawing is I'll take a photograph like this and I'll just draw it freehand and I will so not get caught up with it being perfect because the second that I get caught up with it being perfect um, then I'm gonna start getting frustrated so you just kinda wanna make it um, happen naturally and and don't worry about it um, if it's not perfect you know it's just you alone in your studio and, and you're drawing and you're really trying to get back that eye hand coordination um, yeah so a key word that I keep saying to my uh, students that I have this semester a lot in the in the beginning stages and, and from like week one to week four is scribble. So you can see over here what I'm doing is I'm scribbling and I'm getting you know my fingers warmed up and I'm just kind of scribbling in some tone and it's really helpful for you to draw with line and with tone. So once you um, just kind of tackle any photograph that you have, preferably a photograph that is not taken with flash on the camera. You know, uh, I don't know what kind of photographs that you have access to, but there's like a lot of sites out there that have them. And um, I'll be putting more photographs on uh, photo CDs on, on my site soon as well. But, you know, you just want to grab a photograph, one that does not have flash from a camera because that is front light and front light is the absolute worst light to draw from. You want to have form light. And this is form light on this photograph because the light and the shadow are happening at the plane shift where the front meets the side. So it shows optimum form. Um, and so just, you know, do an initial line drawing just on the contour. And boy, oh boy, this is like really in your face. And, you know, you might get frustrated and you'd be like, oh my God, I, I, I can't do this. And this is actually really frustrating me, but you know, do it on a bunch of photos because believe it or not, um, this is, awesome again I'm gonna say it in your face kind of practice and you know you, you get in that line and you try to do that quick like little line drawing and you make it exactly the way it would look um, you know you're looking at the negative space as you're drawing you're glancing at like some measurements like I'm looking at that negative space like right over here and I'm trying to draw this like really fast I'm looking for like this quick like little gesture thing um, which foot is uh, which you know toes are going to be lower than the other so I'm doing I'm basically what I'm doing here is I'm life drawing from this photograph and um, just going back to this contour. Now this is really not a great way to draw. See how I'm drawing over here? Extremely, extremely flat. I'm not rolling into the form. I mean, it's a photograph that does not have a ton of information on, you know, on the interior of it anyway, because uh, it's not taken with a great camera. But um, you know, this is not how you want to draw in live class, but for practicing at home and getting your eye hand quarters, coordination back not the end of the world that you don't roll your line um, into the form the, the point here is just to draw and to scribble and to do like some tone and get those fingers warmed up and look at the negative space like I said so I'm just coming on in here and I'm scribbling and I'm trying to get this shadow shape in and yeah just move around the drawing like a ferris wheel don't get stuck in like one area and I'm using a cola race I, uh, people ask me all this all the time. The pencils that I mainly use for the people who haven't purchased my DVDs are 
Colorace, and they're put out by Prismacolor, and they're basically just a waxy type of colored pencil that you could erase, okay? I use them, and I use any type of um, B pencil, but right now, today here, for this like little kind of scribble tutorial here, I'm just using a Colorace, what they would call Verithin, which is just like a little thinner, um, and I'm just using a very smooth Bristol paper. Uh, basically, I just grabbed whatever was in my studio, and I'm playing planning these um, ebooks and I'm just you know getting my eye hand coordination back up to speed and I'm drawing and I'm like why not just kind of film my warm-up so um, you know again I've said uh, some of this stuff multiple times on these clips and I really don't keep too much uh, track about what I say on all the clips like they're just random clips sometimes so you know just scribble that's the key word and let's leave it at that